Hi, welcome to the Art Gallery of Ballarat. My name's Kate and I'm an educator here at the gallery. Today we're going to be looking at the painting next to me titled Old Ballarat as it was the summer of 1853-54. It's a painting by an artist named Eugene von Gerard. Eugene von Gerard was an Austrian born artist who was inspired to come to Australia for the search for for gold and to discover the new world. He wanted to discover new places as well as the potential of finding wealth. Um, he travelled from London all the way round to Melbourne before making his way to Geelong. That journey took him about four months. Although he wasn't successful in finding gold, the legacy he leaves are the artworks, the sketches and the diary entries of this time. Von Gerard was a prolific sketcher. He carried with him a sketchbook everywhere he went. The sketchbooks were usually the size of his hand so that they could fit neatly into his pockets. And he sketched not only the everyday happenings of the gold rush, but the environment and the landscape and the changes in that landscape that he saw happening. This artwork is, is especially important to the Art Gallery of Ballarat as it was commissioned by the gallery's founder, James Oddy. When James Oddy commissioned the painting, it was actually 30 years after Von Gerard had left the goldfields and he had, um, and 30 years after he had actually taken that initial sketch. So he was able to look back through his sketches of this time and find an artwork that represented Ballarat during this period of the gold rush. <laughs> if we look at the painting, we can see the land that lays before us. So this is where Ballarat is now built today. Uh, if I was standing out on the street outside of the gallery and looking out towards Mount Warren Heap in the distance, um, I would now be seeing lots of buildings. I'd be seeing a mall and I'd be seeing um, shopping centres or uh, supermarkets. If we look at the painting, we can see some things that still remain today. Of course, we've got Mount Warren Heap in the background and over here in the far corner, there's a little tent with a cross on top of it. That's St. Alepius Church, and it still stands out on Victoria Street today as a school. So this is the startings of the Ballarat Township. In the middle ground of the painting, we can see a large cylindrical tent. This tent was actually a circus tent. So that tent was there when Von Gerard initially sketched this image um, and it shows that the, the types of entertainment that were on the gold fields. Mongarad has also included other forms of entertainment in this painting but they were added after the fact. So whilst he was on the gold fields he witnessed people playing cricket, he wrote about this in his diary and it's thought that this was one of the first um, documentations of cricket being played in Australia. So he's added into his painting, right here in the centre, a tiny little image um, of a man playing cricket. On top of the tents, you can see there's a number of flags flying. These flags um, represent the different nationalities on the gold fields. So when people arrived on the gold fields, they could look for a flag of their country and hunt down that area and camp with uh, fellow countrymen. Because this painting was painted 30 years after Von Gerard left the gold fields, he has included in the painting some historical um, references. So in the centre here, we can see a flock of sheep. Prior to um, gold being discovered in Golden Point, this area was a sheep station and it um, was owned by the Yule Brothers. Prior to that, it was Wadawurrung country and it was farmed by the Wadawurrung people. Um, and so that's referencing the area's farming history. He's also added in some miners being led away by troopers, referencing um, the, the license hunts that were going on at that time. So Von Barad wasn't in Ballarat at the time of the Eureka Rebellion uprising, but he did witness some of the license hunts. It also shows us the changing landscape. 
So if you look back in the painting, you can see a really quite direct tree line. This tree line wouldn't normally occur in nature. Tree lines like that would normally occur um, on the edge of the terrain. So if you're going up a mountain when the landscape was changing. So this tree line was man-made and it was caused by the lopping of trees for timber. Timber was used for lots of different things. It was used um, to con construct mine shafts, to construct housing. It was also used to, um, and burnt for fuel and for heat. So that um, landscape changed very quickly and the tree line disappeared very quickly. So if you look at Mount Warren Heap today, you'll see that there's a little bit of forest left but there'll be farmland up the side with European um, trees growing down the base. So it's a really is a documentation of a lot of different, different things happening to this landscape in this time in history. So the development of a town, um, the destruction of the forest and the, the, the churning of the land. Vongarad was a, painted in a romantic style. So it was a style that he'd learnt back in Europe um, and it was a style that really captured an essence and beauty and grandeur of the landscape. Um, this painting wasn't shown back in Europe. Von Gerard, um didn't think that the European audience would understand the colour palette. So he's really captured the colours that we see in the Australian landscape, especially in the summer. So we can see that the grass is a yellowy green turning brown. We can see that red earth being turned over. The green in the trees is a little bit, bit um, more greyer than you would see in a European landscape. But some things he has added into this painting to give it um, visual effect and to give it that sense of grandeur. So these clouds have been added into the painting to give it that atmosphere and he's added those shadows to add some of that atmosphere as well.